This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What's up, everybody? And I got some exciting Sonic news right here. Here's a look at Sonic the Hedgehog pop up restaurant near San Diego Comic Con 2023 in collaboration with Secret Sauce Society. It will feature several Sonic themed foods, drinks, and exclusive memorabilia from July 13th all the way to August 20th. The grand opening will be July 19. Hashtag Sonic News. And yes, this is all official right here. In fact, you're seeing the screenshots right here of what the inside of the of the area looks like. And look at this. You have Sonic Speed Cafe. Gotta go. Fast food. Very nice. Very nice right there. And obviously the images right here you're seeing are our four main core characters. Amy, Tails, uh, Sonic, and Knuckles. That's interesting right here. And it says Sonic Speed Cafe. That's pretty dope. Love the coloring right here. Basically, the coloring is just a blue checkered green hill zone, basically. That's pretty dope right here with nice uh, lettering right here. Yeah, so this is only going to be a one month, uh, one month event, obviously. So for a lot of you who are going to be in the San Diego area, uh, this is your chance to actually go to a place that has a Sonic theme to it. That's really dope. So there's Sonic Iconic Chili Dogs, Knuckles Crispy Fried Chicken Sandwich, and Dr. Eggman's Egg Salad Sandwich with onion rings and fries as side dishes here are the drinks right here for the drinks you get you basically get sonic's blueberry slushy knuckles cherry slushy tails mango orange slushy and shadows mocha milkshake yeah here's a screenshots of the milk sh of the respective shakes right here that's pretty cool yeah the shadow milkshake looks pretty dope i'm not gonna lie oh yeah by the way shadow's here too yeah well we gotta market shadow because why not well, then he's uh, basically the box office attraction for the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie, which is not slated to come out until late next year, but just wanted to drop that out there. So, Dark, there's your Shadow reference right there. I know you're a little ticked off right now, just because like uh, he's not appearing in any of these mainstream games like Sonic Superstars, Frontiers, to so just, you know, just wanted to cheer you up there, buddy. I saw your comment yesterday. Yeah, so everybody, let me know what you all think about this. Are you going to try to make the, uh, are you going to try to make the, uh, uh, the trip out there? Now for a lot of the uh now for a lot of the YouTubers they are stationed in California obviously as am I. You know, where well, I'm in the Orange County area so I could obviously make the trip over there no problem, you know. I could visit family things like that. But this is just going to be a pit stop for me, but I'll be more than happy to check it out and give you all my honest opinion on it. But if you're anywhere near the San Diego area, I mean check this place out obviously. I already gave you the address already. I'll, I'll post a screenshot here again just in case. And here's the dates that the that the area is going to be open again it's only it's only a limited window right here so it's worth going even if you're not going to comic-con i understand comic-con getting tickets to this event it's next to impossible the event has been sold out already i get it but at least you have another incentive to go it doesn't have to be for comic-con i mean at least for me i have i could at least go see my family and friends over there i can see my cousins you know they all live in that area not too far from that area when you think about it so i could always make a trip over there and you know have a good time and all that I could go on that same day and then come back here if I if I wish, or I could stay with my cousins over there overnight and then just come back the next day. Again, I have that kind of flexibility. Maybe for Sega, this could be nothing more than a test, and they realize that the sales are so good for this place, they might consider opening in other locations like Los Angeles, maybe New York. You know, I could you know again Sega right now they're do, they're making smart business decisions right now. This could be something that can work for them to make even more money. Because why not? I mean, people are, you know, I wouldn't even mind overpaying for a burger, uh, a chili dog, you know, if it has Sonic the Hedgehog's name on it. I don't mind paying for a, a hamburger or anything like that as long as it's associated with the Sonic the Hedgehog brand. Because remember, people, you're not just paying money for the food, you're paying money for the brand. Remember that. You're paying for the atmospheres. That's why a lot of customers sometimes don't have a problem with overpaying for the food. You know, that's just me personally. So, again, everybody, let me know what you all think about this. And if you're by the San Diego area, you know, unless, you know, please consider at least checking it out. And let me know what you think. I gotta go. Peace out.